Alrighty then, folks, welcome back to Girin's Greed, Neo Zeon of Kessel Campaign. So, in the last episode, we had finally assured our position on the Earth, and I'd ask you guys what you wanted to see as ace units, and a really good point was made. Um, most of the units I suggested, and most of the units we are going to get anytime soon, we're actually going to be using quite frequently in the later series. Like, Cubelays, we're going to be doing Haman's Axis, like, next week. So, we're going to be using those all the time. Glemmy's Titans, or Axis, will be either playing after this one or Garma's, which will be very soon as well, because I don't imagine this having more than 10 episodes left. And we're going to be using Bows in there, so... Well, till we get Quinn Mothas. And then Sazabees and Nightingales, we're going to be getting... Or we're going to be using quite frequently in the CCA one, because I'm probably going to play that on hard, just because I like pain, I guess. So, why should we tech up to those when we can use something we won't be using for basically the rest of the time I play this game, i.e. the Hyakoshiki Kai, because that one's char special, and the only other char campaign where we'd possibly use that is the uh, Quattro one. Yeah, the AUG of Quattro. I know what I'm talking about. And in that one, we're just going to be using a bunch of Zetas and double Zetas, because double Zetas aren't much more expensive than the Hyakoshiki, and they're just better in this game. They also have shields and can transform, so what's not to like about them, and then Double Zetas are basically giant laser beam cannons. Who doesn't like giant lasers? So, instead of using anything special, we're just going to use Hyakoshikis for this one. We'll use some normal Hyakoshikis to assault side 3 and kill Manjaro. And then for um, Torrington and Jaburo, we'll upgrade them into Hyakoshiki Kais. Or Hyakoshiki uh, land types. So that we can like go attack from the water, have them follow along the river, and go attack people randomly. It'll be a lot of fun. The aquatic attacks on Jabra never work out that well. So, first things first we need to do, though, is upgrade or modernize our army. Which means getting rid of all those crap units we have and replacing them with Dryzens and Bows, which we're going to be using. Um, after we do, we're first going to take out Zeon, because Zeon's much, much bigger threat than the Federation is. And I'd rather tackle them early where we won't be fighting, you know, Giridogas and Dryzens ourselves. So, we're going to try taking out... Uh, Kilimanjaro first, which we're not gonna, since we're building Dryzens and Bows, we're not gonna bring Dryzens because they're really slow. So instead, we're gonna build a bunch of Bows in Madura and go have them attack from Madagascar and go take uh, Kilimanjaro. And then after we capture Kilimanjaro, we'll go attack down here and over here on the same turn. We'll have these guys go attack right here, capture all of Africa, go grab here, and then just around Jaburo. And then all we'll have left to do is invade side three. And up in side 3, though, or up in space, we're going to use Dryzens because speed doesn't really matter. And space is different in this game. Um, and yeah, that's the plan anyway. So first things first, we need to build a bunch of Dryzens. I want to start up here just in case we do get attacked because they're building more units all the time up here. I'd rather us not have to defend with, you know, F2s and Fs in this case. So, first things first, we need to build some Dryzens up here, which we have seven slots left. So we need to get rid of a few people if we want to do large amounts at once, which means we have seven extra, and if we make 16, we need to get rid of nine. So we'll get rid of four here, which we have some Dom 2s, we'll get rid of those. One, two, three. We have Doro, some Elmiths. We will be using these for the attacks on... Uh, uh, attacks on side three as well just because they're badass and we probably won't be using them except for the very beginning of the char campaign so that was three we'll keep that cube like cube boys are nice and then we can get rid of some f2s uh the dom twos are weaker well actually dom twos are stronger than f2s but they're we're building dryzens anyway which are basically the upgrade to them so that was what six five so, we got rid of five guys there, so we need to get rid of more here. God. My nose is really runny, just recording. Like, it was fine two minutes ago. So I apologize if I get quiet for some reason. Yeah, let's see, some Dom 2s here. An F, an F there. Um, oh, and a Dom 2 there. Okay, so we're gonna go build eight Dryzens in both places. Um, we're using Abo Q to reinforce here, we're using Granada to reinforce here. And so we need to go to Dryzens, which are down here. Let's see, we need to build eight of them. And yeah, we have the money to do it, so it's fine. We don't really have the credits, but we have a shit ton of credits, so it doesn't really matter. And our trade 
our trade ratio, I guess you would call it, isn't all that great right now. I think it's like 19. Wrong menu entirely. Yeah, it's 17 right now. We don't need that. So we've done spying, so we're just going to do that. Yeah. Hey, free money. Or, free resources. Okay, so we want... We need to get rid of three here, I believe, and... Uh... We got rid of four, so we need to get rid of another four here. Which will be... This rocket Zaku. That's a Gaza C, so we can still upgrade that. These are two. Um... We'll keep that mass production bow. We want to keep that. That... Um, we got rid of the Volvaro and the Marasai. Oh, and that. So we'll get rid of that. Or we got rid of that, I should say. Move that there. And we're going to get rid of three more here. We need to build two more here. Five. Yeah, okay. We need to build five more here and... I just need to upgrade some people here, and this one's fine, so... We're gonna build five more up here, which... One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, so that's five. So we basically have space dealt with, and we just need to upgrade some people in here, like... This Gaza C, we can make into a Gaza D. And then, the Gaza D, we can make into one of these two. The Gaza E is actually weaker than this thing. Uh, Ra Goa, I believe it's called. Or... Ka... It's Ga Roa. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, it does about 50 less damage, so we're going to upgrade to those instead. Um, we could get rid of the Gallus J, but I kind of want to just keep the Gallus J. Why not? Um, we can definitely keep that. Um, we'll upgrade that into a perfect. Oh, hey, we have a... You know what? Let's just get rid of this. We'll get rid of the Gallus J, and we'll get rid of the Hyzak, and we'll build two in here. One, two. And then, yeah, so. Do we have enough room for that? We do. So next turn, I need to make sure I did spying, did spying. Yeah, next turn we'll be done with space, and then we'll just start building, or we'll start replacing a bunch of units with bows. Yeah. Okay, so now we got our free credits. That's always good. Um, did we need to get rid of units down here? Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is taken care of. Quick run through. Do we need to upgrade anything? Yeah. Um, we'll give that one legs for fun. So yeah, those are dealt with now. And now we're going to go to Madura and upgrade some people. We're also going to steal some Zanzibars from over here, because we can. Okay, so, how do we want to do this is the question. We have nine spots left, so... Let us go find some bows, right here. Which... Compared to Dryzens, they're actually a little bit more expensive credits-wise, but a little cheaper resource-wise. Which doesn't equal out. Dryzens are actually kind of cheaper. Who would have guessed? So yeah, we have eight there, and after we... After we have those eight, we'll get rid of eight in these three provinces, or these two provinces, and this one here, I guess. I think we'll build 16 to join in with this army, so that we could go attack Kilimanjaro. Um, yeah, we're gonna steal some Zanzibars with some aces. Which, we should also build some Hyakoshikis, thinking about it. Um. Okay, let's do it the easy way. We're taking Lala out, we'll take... Sela out. We'll take Appley out. That one we'll keep. We'll unload the ground units that we're not going to bring along. Um, Slager. Uh, Ryu. That's what, Cusco? No, Chalia. So yeah, we'll get rid of Apple Lee. Um, 
should be taking units out. Whoops. We'll get rid of that one. We'll take that one out. 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 That one out. Yeah, we'll keep, we'll bring the Zazals along. Can't hurt. That guy, Gene. The rest are here, I believe. Okay, so first things first. We're going to move. Well, we're going to get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, we still have one person in there, which is uh, Kai. That's his name. I'm gonna move that one. Wrong menu. Gonna move that one and that one. And then we have one more Gundam to get rid of. Okay, and then we have people over here, which is. We have an empty one, which we can move. Gene. Um. Can't even remember his name. So we'll keep. Uh. Cusco in there. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this one, this one, and we'll grab those two Zanzibars. This one here, this one here, um, and that one there. We'll bring those over. Which, did we have anyone up here? We do. Well, okay. Ryu, uh, whatever her name is, Big Nose, we'll take those guys out, Marion Welsh, I occasionally know what I'm talking about, and Isaac, we have, uh, Pegasus, I forgot we had those, not gonna lie, see that one's Amuro, we're gonna stick him in there. Okay, we don't need to bring all the Zanzibars from here. Because if we did, we would have more than enough to move everyone. We're just gonna grab... We're gonna grab one from here. Because we're bringing... Actually, let's grab two. We're bringing three from that other side. And where is... Um... Char? Okay, are we moving Char? We are, in fact, moving Char. So, the people who don't have mobile suits now is you, you, one, two, three, four, five, er, one, two, three, f no, she has one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I haven't got rid of those two yet, that's why. Okay. So far we're making 12 Piyakoshiki guys. Which will build... Where are they? Well, they're at the top, because they're Federation. They're there. They're actually kind of cheap. We won't be able to afford them all, but we can build eight now, and then we'll build two more over here, I guess. Okay. And then next turn, we'll move them all into position. Whoops. Oh, well, we have the money, so it's fine. Mm hmm Nothing happened, which works entirely with me. Um. While they're passing through, we'll just load everyone up, because it's easier that way.
Move these guys to here. Oops. Good way to figure out how many more people or how many more mobile suits we'll need. Let's see, we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have that. We have those two there. Then we'll. Stick one, and then we'll have four more. Okay, we can afford four more. One, two, three, four. We'll move these guys into here. Yep. And do that. We'll grab these four. Finally stick pilots in them. And then we'll move everyone up. Probably also give them flyers, thinking about it. Or, you know, we could make ground custom ones. They're so much better. And they work in the water. But we'll just give them flyers. If we can, I want to keep all our Zazas together. Yep, those are bows. We'll just stick it in this empty one, because we can. Yeah, we already brought too much transport. Oh well. That doesn't bother me. And looks like that one at the top will be our next one to fill up, because... I misclicked. Let's see, do we have any more? We do, in fact. Hey, we also have a flying, uh, an Isaac, which is really useful. Um, we'll just stick you in there, I guess. Yeah, and then we have some more guys coming, which will fill up the rest of those slots. Should probably build more bows, but we have Zazas, so it's fine. Should probably also, before the battle, transform our bows. Okay, so... We need to upgrade those guys. I also need to do spying in a second. Roberto, Apiary, or Apiary. Um, I didn't see who that was, so I won't comment. Um, Gene. Uh, offhand, I don't know. I think that's Rio Jose, but I don't know. And just because I want to see something, we're going to upgrade one of these into the ground version, which... We can then give a fly or two, I thought so. Hmm. Do we want to? Kinda don't, because I already gave everyone else flyers. Where is Charu? What number are you in, Char? Yeah, I thought that's what you were. He's Castival in this one, I always forget. I was looking for Char and wasn't finding him. Uh, he's... I don't know. Let's see. Charu. Charu. Okay, we're gonna upgrade Char and that's all. And then the rest will get these a little bit later. The only problem with this is we can't bring these guys up into space anymore. Because they only work on the ground. But we have those two uh, new CL Mark IIs, which we can use instead. So, using them isn't all that bad. And now is this force assembled except for needing to load up because I'm lazy? Let's see. We'll unload some Zazas. 
like from here. And we'll unload one of them bows, which we will then stick a, we'll give one of these a flyer, then stick them in there just in case I forget. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, so there's two in there, there's two in there. We'll just have this random stack of flying units. Or, we'll take two out of here, so that stack up there will have three. And yeah, okay. Now we're gonna go attack them. And who can't attack, is the question. Oh, one bow that I forgot to transform. Yeah, sure. I'll keep it in the same episode. Can't hurt. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to grab Kilimanjaro this episode, and the next episode we'll grab the rest of Africa. And then we'll go into a surround Jaburo, and we already have a surround on here. We just gotta try to win Kilimanjaro quick enough and then reinforce here. So they might attack it, but if they do, they do. Who cares? We'll fight them back. We have Zazas. And they'll bring, like, what? Water GMs or... I don't know. GM2s? We have better units than those. It's 67 to get 75. That's not good. But they have some Gows, they have some Dobies, that's a Maje uh, no, that's a Dolfer. Some Dwadages, some Flying Gauffs, uh, Galgoog, that's a Zaku Mariner, those could be bad. That's a Flying Zaku 2, that's a stack of, that's at least a Zaku Commander and I think uh, two Gauffs underneath. Um, that's a Gaza C, or maybe a Gaza D. Um, there's a Zigok in there, some normal Galgoogs. That is a Flying Gallus J. Um, anything else exciting? That is a stack of Gauffs. Hmm, and yeah, I think that's all. We shouldn't be in that much of an issue. But just in case we will, we'll be kind of defensive about it. And our, like, shit tons of, uh, Zanzibars. We're gonna move these guys up. If we need to attack two, we can with our Zazas and our Bows. Bows are actually pretty good at attacking people, surprisingly. Yeah. Then we're going to spread a shit ton of particles for no real good reason. Our environment's already destroyed in this continent. Everyone knows that. Especially over here after French dumping for like 200 years. Yeah, so we have 100% cover everywhere. So we should be fine. Then there's this one like single guy here. Oh, they're attacking us with a single Gaza C. Okay, that hit a lot more than I thought it would for 100% cover. Damn. Oh, well, now the fun time comes. Oh, hey, they had a Zok. I didn't even notice. Go bomb that. Let's go bomb the Gallus J. That there is a Dobai. Which, they have another Gaza C over here that they didn't use for some reason. Um, we'll shoot down this Gao for fun. First, we're gonna move over here and take on these guys. Let's see, we want to... I never remember that it's under special abilities. Whoops. Yeah, so we want one of these and then these two to go over here and go attack no one, apparently. Because, yeah, they don't have a range attack. Whoops. Okay, well, Char's on the field. He'll help us hit people. That's useful. Scan the things.
Yeah, okay. They have a Magellan Top Cannon, so they will be able to hit us back. So I'm... Um, we don't know it's in that gal, but we'll shoot down the gal anyway. Zigaki, one of those with the cannons, one of those. Um, let's move here and fire on these guys. We'll have... These guys move over to here to go fire on these guys here. Grab these stacks, go fire on this one here. Don't want to do that. We... Hmm. We're gonna go blow that one up. Hey, they have a normal Dom there, too. That's exciting. Um, let's go grab you, you, and you. Oh, right, you're not transformed, so I have to go transform you before you can do anything. So we'll grab that one, that one, and that one. We'll have them move to here to go fight this guy. We'll have these three move over to here to... Hmm. I do want to shoot down this gal, but I think we can do it with a uh, Hyakushiki Kai instead of anything more, more extreme like Zaza's. Um... Let's move to there. Move over to here to shoot that guy. We'll move these guys out to here. No. Move them out to here so that we can scan using this guy. They can then go shoot at this one. Um, we have more Zazas here which can move to here and go bomb those ones. More Zazas. Didn't know those ones existed either. Um. Let's move them up to here to go bomb these two. We'll move. Wrong group. We'll move these guys up towards here to go shoot at these ones. That's a fumph. Those guys have a range attack. And. Um, do we want to move you guys beforehand? I do, so we'll move you. Yo! New type to go do do de girunante, unga y ne. Scurry mendo miteo. Caracawana de tasai. Ado! Okay, they can't actually attack anyone, so never mind. And those guys are all transformed, so we'll move them here. Now we don't want to move them there. We want to move them. We'll move them here to go attack them in the center later. Um, I don't. They won't have very much or very far movement because it's all mountains. Which, like the Duadages, should be fine. But like the Doms will have a little bit of issue. I think the Galgooks will as well. Um, that Zaku Mariner is only going to get one step per turn. Move you to here. You'll you'll spread particles. Then you'll fire because. Why not have the Zanzibar's fire? I just remembered they can do that. But only against flying people. I don't need extra damage towards the gal. Okay, and we'll go... Didn't mean to click that one, but oh well, it can still do something. Oh, you've already spread particles. Oh, never mind then. But yeah, um, we should take out most of the guys we're firing at. I don't have very many... Imagination that will do much damage to this, which... Oh, hey, Norris. Hey, we need to kill him. Yeah, I don't have much imagination that will kill, like, these three stacks. But we'll take at least the first unit, which... A lot of the time, the first unit's the scariest. Like, those... Uh, the Zakus and the Gelgoogs, we can deal with pretty easily. Um, next turn, we'll transform and have everyone actual, actually fight them on the ground. We should take out all these flying people, though. 
especially like these Galfs and the normal Zakus. Um, this one, I don't know. We'll probably take out the flight and we'll damage the um, Gallus Jays, but the Dobies might survive. But what are we going to do? They do like 60 whole damage in one turn. Because there's five of them and they do 30 and then if you account in like them missing and stuff, they do about 60. Yeah. Um, next turn we'll have the uh, Zazas fly out, go bomb other people. We'll have the Hyakoshikis and the Bows transform, go fight them on the ground. We'll take some casualties, but we should survive long enough. Um, yeah, those guys are attacking. Some of the Fumps will be able to attack us at a range, but most of our units can attack at, can attack back at a range, so we'll be fine. Um, none of the Zanzibars are really out in the open. So, besides some Dobies, we should be fine. Oh, hey, look what they have. They brought a perfect Zeong and no new types. Good for them. Two Zaku Kais and a normal Dom. I going to say Rick Dom, but it's a normal Dom. It's a Zigaki and a Zigak Commander. Good on them. That's a Dewattage and something that flies. Um, oh, there's a Gaza Sea. Gion Galgug Fump. Which, they didn't attack us with the Fumps. I'm surprised. We didn't kill those Galgugs, though. That kind of sucks. But we did kill Norris. And had a Galgug with 18 HP left. He's a, uh, he's a captain, so he was actually giving him quite a good benefit. But we have Char out, so we're fine. He has high charisma and he's our faction leader. So basically everyone's doing more damage and is going to dodge better. That was an interesting sound. I'm pretty sure it recorded that. I don't know, though. Ah, uh, they took the Hyakoshikis. Damn. <laughs> Which, it was mostly radar gunning. Okay. Yeah, but we destroyed those, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And Apple is going to complain while he kills a gal. Well, not complain, but I don't know what the correct term would be. Dude, it's a gal. Okay. That's fine. Um, it was a flying Zaku, a Zigok, and a Gauf. Which now they have a single Zigok and a single Gauf left. It's a Gauf B, so those are ground melee units. Nothing to worry about. But hey, we destroyed the enemy. And our Zanzibar only has 200 HP left. Well, we can really. or we can. uh. Replace the Zanzibars. Zanzibars are actually pretty cheap. At this point in the game, they're basically a unit's worth of resources and only like 700 credits. So getting new ones isn't going to be that difficult. Should probably develop the Guazine and get the bigger one. Um, I think it's the Solidon, the one that Haman used as her flagship for a while. That one can care, or that one works on the ground and in space, so we could use it instead of Zanzibar's. Oh, um, these Zazos are in trouble. Same thing with uh, Hayato. Hmm. Hey, two units survived. That's good enough. We lost a Zaza. And that's Noonan Bitor, who I didn't know we were killing, but we killed apparently. Okay. Just gonna skip through that so we can end this. 
Aw, oh, we lost uh, Hyakoshiki. Damn. Oh well. <laughs> With three turns and he'll be back into the action, so it's fine. And this is a production center, so we'll eventually make back what we lost in, or what we lose in this battle. Okay. Yeah, they do have a freaking Hadolfer. That's ridiculous. Is this the one with the radar? No. It's this one. Yeah, they brought a Hadolfer. Who uses those? Well, I would totally use those if I ha if I could. They're expensive, but they're really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's, well, no. How do we want to do this? Your Okay, so we're going to transform all three of these people. We're going to attack those Gaza Seas on the ground. Because, you know, fuck them. And we'll give them some support from this Zanzibar. Move these guys over to here to go... Um, those are some Gelgoogs, uh, Bows. So we'll go have them attack some Gelgoogs, I guess. Yeah, we'll go attack these guys, why not? We'll have these guys go in for the flank. We want to attack those Zaku Mariners, because those are dangerous. I think we've learned that before in this campaign. If not, we learned it in one of the other ones. Um, we want to go attack these three in that base. We want... We'll have these ones go bomb this unit. We'll have these ones go around here. Go blow up that one. We'll have these ones go take on these guys. We'll have these ones here move around. Go attack this perfect Zeong. We'll have these ones over here go move to here. Whoops. We'll have them move to here. Have them go blow up that one. Oh. That's nice. That's why I like having radar Zakus. Even if I use them terribly, they occasionally do really good work. Um. Do I have any Zazas that I can spare for that Zok? Okay, we're gonna have... Fun go take on that Zok. We'll have this stack go attack that Hadolfer. These guys who survive the attack will go. This one will go join up with them. They'll then go reorganize so that that one, then that one, then that one. We'll then go have them attack there. We'll have these guys move up to here. Go attack this one. Yeah, you're kind of damaged, so we're going to reorganize you, just in case. You, then you, then you. You'll attack there. You guys are okay as well. Okay. Just Slugger hitting on Sayla, and Sayla totally rejecting his ass. Gonna move you guys to here. To go bomb this really damaged Galgu Gay. We'll have you guys, who are all at full HP, move to here to go blow up these guys, who are, uh, Dwadage Two Fumps. You know what? We'll also have you guys here go help out against that one. Then we'll have you guys here move down one space to go blow up these guys, which are two doms. Yeah, I need to start using the thumb pad again. I don't use that. I try using the analog stick and it makes me misclick a lot. So this unit will survive. This one will, but the rest should die. And we should do quite a bit of damage to them up in here. Um, and we've lost, like, what, two units so far? Two, three units? Yeah, we lost that one Zaza. We lost Hayato. And we, I think we lost one of the bows. That's a high gog and a dom. Uh, that's probably Rumble Rawl, a Zaku, or Zigaki, and a Fump. Or no one, apparently. So yeah, that's one single Zigak alive. 
Okay. That's Charu talking about the same thing all the time. Okay, and that's a Zigot commander that's arrived. Will we destroy that Gelgoog prototype? Okay. Yeah, we blew up the perfect Zeong that they really had no reason to build. I guess the programmers didn't change it so that when they don't have new types, they don't have the AI act like they have new types. Oh. We just killed Nimbus, who's also a captain. And actually a pretty good charisma score. Oh, hey. An Aboku Gogu Cannon. Well, they're just Gogu Cannons in this one since it's gray, but it has the Aboku weapons. If it was blue, it'd be the Aboku version. Okay. Whatever you say, Gene. Now destroy that there, Hidalfer. Still haven't got one of those on Gundam Online yet. I'm really sad about that. I really wanted one. They're not very good or anything, I just want one. Because who doesn't want to ride around in a tank that transforms for no reason? Didn't even kill him. I only destroyed one of them. Oh, whoops, I didn't actually mean to skip through that. I just accidentally clicked X. Oh well. Hey, Amuro got some training there. He doesn't need it. Oh, and even when they destroy one unit, all the pilots in the group get training. Mm -hmm. So, attacking with groups of people like this is just fine. That's also a Garma Zaku. That's interesting. Uh, it's Garma Zaku too. And no, Garma wasn't piloting it. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, I love how bows look. Just so cool. Mm -hmm. It's turn five, right? No, this is only turn three. Okay. We did this a lot better than I thought we did. I thought that was turn five. Yes, let us bomb you. Um, this is some Zaza, so who care? Also bomb you. We'll bomb you again. Oh, missile you, because it's not really bombs. So yeah. They lost two units and we didn't take very much damage. Zazas are just really useful. And they don't have Psycho Gundams in this one, so they don't have a good way to fight us. Which, they don't have new types anyway, so... You know, just to be sure, we're going to have a bunch of people bomb them. Blow everyone up. Oh, 
Okay. It's gonna be annoying loading everyone up, but I'll do that in between episodes so you guys don't have to worry about it. Yay, we got Kilimanjaro. Jion no senryoku wa teka shi, Jion honkyo chi, Saido 3 no kouryaku ga kanou desu. Saido 3 seyatsu sakusen wo teyan shimasu. Since we got other production centers, we can now go attack side 3, which we want to grab the rest of Sion's land before we do that, just because it'll make it easier on us later. Oh. I totally forgot about three people in their Kyakoshiki Kai's. We're gonna need to repair a bunch though. Are they gonna send a Zanzibar or two back just in case? I'm gonna send them back to there. We're going to grab two of these, well, three, and we'll send them south to go fight there. See, they have 25 here, or 23 here. So, we're going to send the rest of them towards that one. I'll load these guys up if I remember in between episodes, too. I don't really need to, but it'll be easier later. Yeah, and then we'll have these guys help out as well. We'll probably just get rid of, like, half of these guys after this, because we won't need them anymore. And then, yeah, so we'll grab those two next turn, then we'll push, we'll have this unit push over and grab that one. We'll have this one go down there, we'll have these guys move back to go defend this as well, just in case it does get attacked. Um, then yeah, we just need to have this around on, uh, Jaburo, and Africa's done with. Then we can just push in, grab the rest of Torrington when we need to, and then we'll grab side three in a few minutes. But, folks, that'll be the end of this episode. If you liked it, you should like. Um, yeah, I... I'm pretty sure we have only 10 episodes left on this campaign, though two of them will probably be devoted to getting to Tech 30, just because I want to see if we get uh, high news in this one, since we have Amaro. Goodbye.